Hey guys, Matt Sloan here with Skyfire Consulting, and today we are going to be checking out a very uh, exciting new product from Autel. This is going to be the Autel uh, 2 Enterprise R. Uh, this is the uh, 640R, so let's uh, go ahead and pull out this aircraft here. This is going to be a really good uh, alternative to some of the other products uh, that a lot of our public safety customers have been using. Um, so as you can see right off the bat, um, it's still a fairly small aircraft. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than we're used to with some of the DJI products. Um, but let me just go ahead and show you how easy this thing is to set up, and then we'll actually go through some of the features here. One thing I notice off the bat, although the uh, the center body here is still plastic, um, you do have carbon fiber arms here, so these seem um, uh, significantly uh, sturdy for the types of uh, flying that we're going to be doing in most public safety applications. Um, of course, you're looking, uh, making sure that uh, it's got all the features that we are used to looking for. So we've got obstacle avoidance all the way around. We've got some on the top. We've got it on the sides, on the back underneath and then up front. We also have the two lights underneath too. So that's great for takeoffs and landings and, and lighting up your scene as you're, as you're flying at night. Um, we've got the onboard uh, SD card holder here, uh, which we're, uh, we'll, we can use as well as the onboard, um, uh, onboard recording that you can do here in case your SD card gets full or anything like that. Um, I'm gonna pop out the battery here so you can see this is what the battery looks like. A little bit bigger than we're used to on this type of aircraft, um, but you're also going to get more flight time out of it, which is really exciting. So let's go ahead and power this thing up and I'll walk you through the remote controller as well. As you can see, ease of setup. Um, it took me just a few seconds to get it out of the box uh, and get all the, uh, the arms unfolded there. We're going to turn on the controller here as well. While that's powering up, I'll show you what you got here in the box. Of course, you got the aircraft and the ground station. Uh, you've also got uh, two batteries here, uh, and then you've got your tray of accessories here too. So you've got your uh, speaker, you've got your spotlight, and then you've also got your night strobe. Um, there is an option for an RTK antenna for this as well too, and that does not come with the standard kit, but it is available to you. And then you have a quad battery charging hub here as well. All right, so this is powering up now. You can see uh, a very large screen on this. Uh, compared to some of the other smart controllers on the market, and I'm a big fan of the large screen. It's also very bright, which makes it very useful for flying outdoors. Um, this is a, just a, basically a, about an 8-inch tablet here, um, and then you've got the ground station built around it. You'll notice it's a little bit bigger than we're used to, um, but it does feel very robust. It's got these nice bumpers on it as well, too, and this uh, back bar here, so if you need to set it down. One of the other features, it's a tiny thing, but it's uh, it's really useful if you're out in the field for a long time. You've got the, uh, the screw here that you can put this on a, uh, a typical tripod mount. So let's go ahead and dive into the app a little bit here. As you can see, this is the, uh, this is the dual camera option. So you've got an 8K uh, uh, electro-optical or daylight camera on there. Um, it's a 48 megapixel sensor and it shoots in 8K. So that gives you the ability to digital zoom uh, up to four times and uh, still have a pretty clear picture. You also have a 640 radiometric camera on here for your thermal imager. And of course you can layer the two on top of each other. Now I do wanna point out that this particular setup is the radiometric, so this is the 640R. This is about a $12,000 package. Uh, you can also go with the 640T, which is about a $9,000 package. It's not gonna have the uh, radiometric thermal imagery on there, uh, but for most public safety applications, radiometric isn't absolutely critical. So if your department is looking to save a little bit of money, you can go with the T option versus the R. Uh, for those of you who are unaffiliated with uh, radiometric, that basically means that every pixel in the image is going to have uh, temperature metadata for it. That's really useful if you're doing inspections or you're going to be putting this through like FLIR tools uh, uh, software after the fact and really doing detailed analysis on every pixel. Um, for most public safety applications, it's a matter of getting it up and saying, you know, is this hot? Is this not? Um, is that on fire? Is this, you know, this is where the smoke is coming from. Uh, looking for a suspect or looking for a victim, uh, the non-radiometric will probably suit your needs. So let's go through a couple of the options here. One of the things I really like about this um, is you have lots of different intelligent flight modes. Um, so you can see, I don't know how easily you guys can see this, but we've got uh, orbiting hyperlapses, we've got the viewpoint, we've got the tripod tracking, uh, we've got smart orbit. And a lot of these features uh, are really useful, particularly if you're out on a long search uh, or if you're following somebody for a long period of time, 
um, doing any kind of scene reconstruction, um, a lot of these uh, features are going to be very useful. There's some that aren't as useful like gesture control, but it does have all those features on there. Uh, so for right now, we're going to be in manual flight. We're going to go through a couple of the different settings here. Obviously, you have your thermal imaging picture in picture here, um, and you've got all the ability to change all of those uh, options here. Uh, we can do the full picture here. We can do picture in picture as we showed you before. And then this is just your uh, pure daylight camera as well. So you have the ability to layer those on top of each other. You can see there's already a grid on top of that. So if you're using this for search and rescue, this helps you identify uh, which side uh, you've already looked on and kind of tracing your tracks there. We can also do spot meter temperature and various other features uh, that we'll get into in a more detailed video here. But as you can see, um, lots of uh, lots of similar options that we're used to. Um, another exciting thing about this aircraft is you're going to get quite a bit of flight time. Um, so just north of 40 minutes of flight time versus 30 minutes for a lot of the other aircraft that are on the market. You're still going to have all of your uh, same uh, camera settings that you can change. You can change all of your color palettes here. Um, let's see, let me switch back to thermal there. Uh, change all your color palettes here. So you've got 10 different options that you can choose for. Uh, choose from for color palettes, all the typical ones that we're used to, and then of course all of your camera settings as well. Uh, this aircraft also has ADS-B as well, ADS-B in, so if you're flying and you want to make sure that there's no aircraft nearby or when an aircraft does come nearby, uh, you'll be able to uh, get an alert there as well. I would say as a public safety agency, um, you, uh, you couldn't go wrong with this aircraft. It's, uh, it definitely is a good option for you. Mm -hmm.